gonna be a fight. Tyson, and you know it. You hit me, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Today's video, we will be discussing seven times when Mike Tyson brutally destroyed cocky fighters. Look at, the, look at here, look at here. Just right laughing at Let's start off with the infamous two-fight saga between Mike Tyson and a cocky Mitch Blood Green. A rivalry that 10 rounds of boxing couldn't squash, as both fighters would face off in the streets years later. But when they first fought, it was highly engaging to watch, as Green trash-talked Tyson and showboated. The fight turned out to be very entertaining, and when Green entered the ring, he wasn't looking so confident anymore. Despite Green's physical advantages, Tyson took control and dominated every round. Right there, from this big hole behind the head. Bad had a bleeding, bad hat against Tillis. And what a shot! Best Don't weapon was, and he said, my elusiveness punches. Big right hand. He's just taking advantage of every opportunity. That seems to be something that runs through all of Mike Tyson's opponents, that... What's gonna happen? Tyson was unable to get a knockdown. Two years later, Green confronted him in the streets, where he received a nasty punch from Tyson that knocked him down. Green's eye was completely shut, and Tyson hit him so hard that his nose was cut open. Did you see his eye? His eye was just hanging out his head. Number 6. When Tyson got out of prison in 1995, he immediately returned to the ring. Promoters were smart and decided to let Tyson warm up on a few guys, one of whom was cocky fighter Peter McNeely. And going against a guy like this, you'd have a big dump in your pants. On Saturday night, watch me kick Tyson's ass. Because remember what happens when I wrap you in my cocoon. On the night, despite being the underdog, McNeely was very confident. The fight lasted barely 89 seconds. In the opening bell, McNeely stuck to Tyson, not letting him go until he received a straight right that dropped him to the canvas. And McNeely, as advertised, comes right at Mike Tyson. Now McNeely, seconds into the first round. Immediately after, Tyson landed a right uppercut that sent McNeely down again. Tyson's power was brutal, and when he fought an arrogant criminal who had once stabbed a young man and murdered another, it was legendary. But before we get to that, let's take a look at number 5, Buster Mathis Jr. In 1995, Mike Tyson is making his famous comeback after prison, most recently destroying cocky Peter McNeely. Still rusty from prison, he was given another warm-up fight against Buster Mathis Jr., an undefeated boxer. Buster's father was a renowned boxer who fought against greats like Muhammad Ali. Now his son continued the legacy and was very successful doing so. When he fought Tyson, he was very confident he would win. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to let this guy intimidate. I see him look in Tyson's eyes, I think you know that Buster Mathis can be ready to fight. The fight turned out to be highly entertaining, with Buster attacking Tyson aggressively from the opening bell. Tyson missed a lot of punches, while Buster landed several blows to the body which hurt Tyson. After two rounds, Buster paused for a slight moment late in the third round and received the most devastating combination to the jaw. Number 4. In January of 1988, Tyson fought Larry Holmes, the legendary boxer notorious for defeating Mike Tyson's idol Muhammad Ali. Holmes came out of retirement to fight Tyson, 
and was quite confident he could beat him. Now, I hope once they see it once more, it's fairness. I'm going to knock this guy out. My jab is stronger. I got a good right hand, and I can, I can hook it. Tyson makes a lot of mistakes, and if he fights me dirty, that's what kind of fight is going to be all night. If they want to make him out of a beast that he claimed to be, he's going to be in there with a beast. So if he wants to fight any way he wants to fight, I am capable of fighting any way anybody wants to fight. Tyson was no match for him. In just four rounds, Tyson brutally destroyed Larry Holmes. It was the first time he was ever knocked out in his 75 fight career. Number 3. Trevor Burbick Burbick was the heavyweight champion when he fought Tyson, who was 20 years old and already knocking out opponents with brutal power. Burbick, however, showed no fear and was quite arrogant. When they fought, Tyson proved to be the better fighter. Tyson ended the fight with 30 seconds left in the second round with a devastating left hook. Burbick attempted to get up twice, only to collapse both times, causing the referee to call the fight and award Tyson the victory, making Tyson the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Before we get to Tyson's brutal fight against a murderer, let's take a look at this fight with Frank Bruno. Bruno was a British boxer who was almost six and a half feet tall, one of Tyson's biggest opponents. The fight was originally set for late 1988, but after Tyson broke his hand from a street fight with Mitch Green, it was postponed to the start of the next year. Bruno was very confident and showed no fear to Tyson. When I finish with him, they're going to have to look for another judge and might get a job with you. If they touch me, if they lay a finger on me, you know what I mean? You'll see a different, different dude, you know what I mean? You see the darkness come out. That guy, the guy, he's just a human being like you. He's a human being. He wears shoes, he wears socks. I see myself knocking out Mike Tyson, spectacularly knocking him out. And like, Oh, Tyson, this Iron Mike, this Iron that. You don't realize that the guy had a, um, a car crash. He damaged his hand. The fight got off to a fast start, with the two men exchanging punches in the middle of the ring as soon as the first round started. In going against the Zebra, and I'd have to agree. Let's see how quick he starts. Bruno tries to keep him off. Bruno showing that he's not afraid. Hanging on. Tyson gets nailed with a left hook. Tyson looks wobbly. Bruno's already tagged with the right hand, and there goes Bruno taking the standing eight count. But everything changed after round two, as Tyson would punish Bruno with vicious combinations. Doing an excellent job considering the style that Bruno's fighting here. How about hanging on and hitting? Bruno's already been down in round number one. Bruno was caught that time, and Tyson knows it. Tyson trying to attack now to finish able to escape. And the chant from the short assault, nothing there. Bruno is in some shape. Big, vicious body shot. Taken right underneath the heart. Got plans for big right hand. Bruno's in big trouble now. He's ready to go. He hits him with a He's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele. Number one. This was one of Tyson's most dangerous opponents. Donnie Long was a criminal who started dealing drugs in school and even once stabbed a fellow student on the schoolyard. This will be a win to let everybody know that Donnie Long is back. I plan on boxing Tyson too. I think that I, I can box as good as he can and I'll keep him in the middle of the ring. At age 18, he murdered a man and was sentenced to life in prison. After getting out early, he became a professional boxer as he won multiple prison fights will figure it out. Yes, I plan on boxing Tyson too. I think that I, I can box as good as he can and I, I can punch as if not better than Tyson. Long. However, when they fought, Tyson proved to be the superior boxer. Channel fight are extremely brutal. And if you enjoyed watching this video, click the video right here and you'll enjoy it even more.